Hi everybody, welcome back to the ETC Quickie episode 4. Now, I'm really sorry about this, but today's episode is a very, very simple one because I've lost my video editing software. My PC was infected by a virus, haha, <laughs> how topical, uh, over the weekend and I had to re uh, deinstall and reinstall Windows and of course I've lost my Windows Movie Maker uh, editing software. Unfortunately, I don't know why Microsoft have stopped making it available, but they have and uh, you can't get hold of it anyway. So anyway, I hope tomorrow uh, I'm going to download some new software and I hope that um, I will have learned enough about it to start producing good video again uh, by tomorrow. But uh, You'll have to just survive with this very simple one for the moment. This video, uh, all the all the written information you can see down below. This video is about the uh, the slogan which you see very often on the television at the moment: "Flatten the curve," and uh, the verb "flatten" basically means to make something flatter. And I decided today we'll do a quick uh, a quickie about those kind of verbs. Now, the opposite of flatten is steepen, to make something steeper. Then there are more verbs uh, similar to this. For example, if you're screwing uh, something into a wall, uh, you have to tighten the screw, make it tighter, and then you have to loosen it if you want to take the screw out. So you make it looser by loosening it. If your knife is blunt, you have to sharpen it. Uh, if something is too narrow, like a road, for example, then you have to widen it to make it wider. Uh, and if it's too short, you make it longer by lengthening it. And if it's too long, you have to make it shorter by shortening it. Uh, if it's not hard, uh, sorry, if it's not strong enough, you have to strengthen it. If it's too strong, you need to weaken it. Um, if it's uh, too soft, you have to harden it. And if it's too hard, you have to soften it. Uh, if it's too, um, if it's not tall enough uh, or not high enough, you have to heighten it. Uh, but the, uh, the opposite of heightening it is to, you have to lower it. Okay, so as always, do the exercise down below. This was a very short quickie today just to uh, teach you this verb. And I'm sorry about the, the, all the frills, all the best parts are missing, but hopefully tomorrow. Okay, have a great day. Ciao.